Welcome to Unilad Adventure. Here's a look at some of the best things you can do on a trip to Belfast. It's a beautiful city that's rich in historic culture and surrounded by stunning nature. With the Causeway Coastal Route being so nearby, it's an absolute must if you're staying for more than a day. You can hire your own car to drive this or book a tour where you'll be given more in-depth information as you take in the incredible views along the coast. This road trip has a lot of highlights, but some of the most memorable include walking across the narrow rope bridge at Carricka Reed. It's a 20 meter bridge over a 30 meter drop with colorful blue waters below. You can also see Sheep Island from here, which is heavily featured in Game of Thrones, not to mention the spectacular trail along the cliffside with great views all round. Then there's Cushendon Caves to explore, and the unmissable Dark Hedges, better known as the King's Road. Walking through the natural beauty of the Dark Hedges feels like you've stepped right through your television and into Westeros. We recommend stopping for lunch at a local Irish pub along the way, and there are many that take advantage of the running theme. However, if you're in it for the scenery more than the popular culture, then there are plenty of places that don't feature an Iron Throne. After winding your way through the idyllic Irish countryside, you'll find yourself at the main attraction, the Giant's Causeway. This natural occurrence is often called the eighth wonder of the world. It was formed 50 to 60 million years ago by volcanic activity and features around 40,000 perfectly placed hexagonal rocks. It's hard to believe the feature isn't man-made. In fact, locals will tell you that the causeway was built by a giant named Finn McCool who was building a bridge to fight his Scottish nemesis, a giant by the name of Ben and Donnet. It's up to you what you choose to believe, but nevertheless, you'll feel like you're on another planet standing on top of this unbelievable natural feature. If you fancy a little adventure, there's a couple of trails you can walk with stunning views of the world-famous Causeway Coast and North Channel. We took the Red Trail, which heads up towards the Organs, another great spot for a photo opportunity. The trail then swings around to an amphitheater viewpoint, the path here is closed due to a landslide, however, from this trail you'll be rewarded with some of Ireland's most stunning panoramic views. This was one of our best days in Belfast. There's so much not to be missed along the coastline. A great guide can make your trip even more memorable and we couldn't say thanks enough to ours. His name was Derek and he worked for Macomb's Tours. They're not paying us or anything, but there's a link to their website in the description if you're interested in who we went with. Back in Belfast, there's so much to see and learn about. If you really want to get into the heart of the city's history, then take a tour around Crumlin Road Prison. They'll tell you all about the troubles and the conditions inmates faced during their time in this literal hellhole. During its time in operation, it was home to executions, escapes, hunger strikes and riots. Many of the people imprisoned here were innocent because you could even be held on suspicion alone and the laws at the time were so unregulated that mistakes were often made. Now let's talk about the city centre. There are plenty of incredible places to lose yourself on Belfast streets. Check out the iconic Cathedral Quarter for some of the best bars in town. These picturesque streets are filled with everything from modern bars to good old fashioned pubs. We celebrated New Year here and we couldn't have asked for a better night out. St. George's Market is a great place to sample some of the local street food. And the Crown Liquor Saloon is one of the most authentic Irish pub experiences you can have. It's a great place to stop for a rest when you're exploring some of the city's best sites. And with the average price of a beer in Belfast being around £3.30 or $4.50, you might end up having a few more than intended. Speaking of sights, the City Hall is a stunning building to explore, with marble pillars, beautiful claywork and colourful stained glass windows all around. You can pop in for a quick look or take one of the regular tours around the building, so if you have some free time on your hands that might be something to consider. Then there's the Titanic Museum, where you can learn all about the construction, operation and voyage of the renowned ship. The detail here is incredible. It's a real eye-opening experience that shows there's so much more to this story than you may have seen in Hollywood movies. You can even step on board the SS Nomadic, the last remaining boat that was used to ferry people out so they could board the Titanic. 
There are many ways to see Belfast, but to really see it through a local's eyes, take a black cab tour. You'll be driven around residential areas and taught all about the politics and religious conflicts that still burn strong today. There are murals all over these streets, hailing local heroes and marking important events in history. The Peace Wall still stands today and divides different communities to help stop the ongoing conflict. Unlike the Berlin Wall, Belfast Peace Wall still stands by choice. Many people in Belfast still want the wall in place because it makes them feel protected. However, others disagree and want it to come down. To this day, its gates are still locked at night to keep people safe. Finally, the most fun way to explore the streets of Belfast has to be with We Toast Tours. You pedal your own bar around the town centre on an epic pub crawl, dismounting at some of the city's best known watering holes. It's a great way to get a feel for the culture of the city, with each pub offering something different. You can bring your own booze for the ride or buy on board. There's a sober driver in charge of steering so you can have as much fun as you like. Thanks for watching our guide to Belfast. Don't forget to leave your recommendations for Belfast in the comments, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more of the best travel tips and videos from around the world weekly.